24 hours. The live stream is on Thursday evening. We are playing 10 boards and use the match point scoring. Everybody can join. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an expert, everybody will have fun. And how much does it cost? Nothing. Both the tournament and the live stream are free of charge. The official sponsor of the tournaments and the live stream is Funbridge. What does that mean? You can win Funbridge points and join the ranking. You can also win diamonds if you challenge me and win. What do you have to do to play the challenge against me on the live stream? Challenge me right now and win in the lottery. Just write in the live chat your Funbridge nick and that you challenges me right now. Good luck! and no sound okay so i got there thank you guys i'm still have the earrings here so uh thank you once again apologies uh here that i just had my microphone muted but it should be all fine so welcome everybody uh, on another live stream as usual 10 boards with match point scoring of the fun bridge tournament and free challenges so don't hesitate write down your nickname and that you challenge is Milan and I will put you on the list. We will get back soon, so let's go with board number one of the Funbridge Point Tournament, which started more than 24 hours ago and is already finished. A okay, first board with seven high card points and no ace, no king, so basically no defensive tricks. We will be defending most likely in four hearts, potentially even in a slam. Okay, four hearts it is, and I guess this should be a standard board because I don't think that I can do much uh, here. I just need to keep the right amount of clubs or, well, spades. If that will matter but I guess that one spade might be discarded on the diamond partner with the lead of seven of clubs I'm expecting partner to have three clubs because I lead low from doubleton um, it might be like seven eight doubleton so then declare might have uh, four clubs and he will need to rough one but we will see from the second round of clubs and I might get a spade lead, a, so, sorry, spade trick, and that might be it. Partner play the two, which should be four, most likely. Wow. Okay, so right now I definitely want to catch the spade so partner can escape with the club. And then just we... We need to wait for the diamond trick in case partner has the queen. Okay, so the two of spades was just encouraging. Not a four card, it was a five card. And right now partner makes a diamond trick and that would be it. Or 
or I get a club trick. Because now partner is keeping the diamonds. No, okay. So clubs were free, free. See that the, it was a middle one from free, and this should be an absolute average here. And once again, okay, sorry guys, uh, so average, see that, you know, today it was actually the first day uh, which uh, improved in the Czech Republic that we have the five point system for the COVID, we are now in the step three, which actually means that the restaurants are opened and I mean, I had a wow day today because I went for a steak for lunch and for a draught beer. Pilsner Urquell from the draught and a beefsteak. Wow. Well, we don't know what we were missing for about two months. So luckily, uh, it's possible for us. The first board was average. And I'm sorry, Kevin, there won't be a match, rematch against Alice, but there might be a reward against uh, the rest. So here is the list so far what I'm having and we are having the diamond. So there are still two more players. So who will get the diamond seven and I might get uh, actually another reward tonight because last stream uh, we just got something uh, like almost impossible to get four sevens at the end. But whoever from the challengers will score the diamond seven as the last trick, I'm adding 10 extra diamonds to, to that. So come on, Gary, Kiwi. Yeah, Kevin just joined and I will put the others there as well. So let's go board number two. Board number two, 12 high card points with five, four majors, three, four, five, six, seven losers. So definitely a minimum hand of the opening, both on losers. So in playing and trumps and both of high card points if we just end up in no trumps. So just rebidding two hearts and raising partner just in case we have a spade fit. And that's it. So right now my hand might be reasonably good only if partner is having a singleton heart and three cards in clubs. Otherwise my king queen in clubs are not very useful. And you see that doubleton opposite a doubleton. That's uh, really a terrible thing here. But what I need to do actually here, I will lose two heart tricks. And in order to lose only one spade trick, I actually need doubleton honor with West and in that case I need to play the low towards the 10 and if East wins with the third honor I will cash with the ace the doubleton and the Jack will score the third round I will need to rough uh, one diamond for sure but this is just getting I might play the seven just for fun okay eight can be eight honor so let's see, or both honors with West will be good enough. I think in here I might, where do I want entries? Probably need entries to north side, just in case the spades break bad. So I'll just play another round and the doubleton queen drops. Perfect, so I can draw the trumps. 
And now I need to hope that the diamond splits 4-2. Based on the diamond leads, they might actually split 5-1. So in that case, I would need to play the heart. So let's see. Yeah, singleton. So right now, let's play the heart. So I need to rough one diamond and establish a heart. So I need honor jack in hearts with east. Or heart splitting free free. But for that I don't have entries. Okay, so I'm roughing I'm taking with the queen. Unfortunately, I just can't get the entries here. Yeah, that would work if I actually would have unblocked um, with the club there. Fortunately, I didn't have the chance. So let's see if the heart split free free. In that case, I had a chance to make if I win the first club with the ace. Ah, too bad. Yeah, they do. So, not a good score. I had better options. Well, not better options. This was like good enough. But I could have played better and get the extra entry with the club to south to wrap the third round of hearts. So, yeah, I should have been thinking a bit better. Because that would be a top score. This can happen to a lot of, a lot of people. And it's a 68% score and that was a surprise to me but a lot of people actually went down and I checked that there was only one player who made but it's not that he played well, it's just it's that Archie just gave it away by underlining the second round of diamonds, the small, so actually that player made the diamond 9, so 4 diamond tricks. And that was actually the extra score. But what people managed was also three no trumps. But as well on this board, it was because the defense didn't play clubs at all. And the players had the time to establish the rest of the tricks. So you, ha you would have to be really lucky to get a top score. But if you play well at 68%, which is actually quite a lot. And... Gary, are you are you a director like bridge director in the in the club? Based on that, it seems to me well in the Czech Republic we uh, the restaurants are opened, but uh, we cannot yet gather in that many people to be able to play bridge in the clubs. So still everything has to be online, unfortunately. So that's it. Oh, great, great, Gary. So we have a director here that might be handy someday if we'll discuss uh, the director topics but at this moment i have this list okay so i have to get rid of the white screens so we have it up to six of the diamond and i actually got an extra uh, challenge probably there in the uh, app so i will add it there as well so once again, this is the last board where you have a chance to challenge me. And if you are don't know or if you just cannot chat uh, within the video, you might just text me a message on Funbridge during the next board and I will add you to the list of the challengers. So in the meantime, we will get the board number three. Okay, board free and two hearts pass three hearts. Three hearts is actually just a race. Usually it should be with two tricks. I have 17 high card points with five losers only. So definitely if partner covers me two losers, we might have a contract on fourth level. But I don't mind if partner will pass. 
But do we have five clubs on this board? What do I need? King of clubs and one more honor. Or five clubs actually. Doubles and diamonds. Spade fin has to be on. Might be it. So I actually don't need that much. So I think I'm going to try for a game here. Um, in, in imps this will be a no-brainer. I just bid five clubs. But in match points... Like, you just need to do the right thing to get 70 or 80% score. There might be people who will pass this. Then any plus score, well, any more than plus 100 will be probably good. So, right now, do I want to take the risk. I think I'm going to take the risk. Pardon doesn't have the spades so it's very likely that he might have five clubs. Hopefully he doesn't have four triple three. Still then I need two kings. That's the advantage of ha having all the aces. Okay fourth king and fourth queen. So one heart, one spade I will discard so actually this is a pretty good chance to make five clubs even opposite just five points and I play the finesse okay that works so actually right now it should be relatively okay if the clubs split and if they don't split I need the king of diamonds on side but since the lead was queen of hearts Wes is having ace king so he might not have another honor and the clubs split so good decision most likely I will make 12 tricks and see that's just 17 opposite 5 high card points so that's the strength of the aces finessing positions yeah here we go And potentially, well, I cannot get, I could have got the diamond 7. I can still make the diamond 7, but I have to, no, I need to discard the spade. I don't have the entries now. Yeah, I misplayed. I'm not sure if I could have done that. Because I needed to rough the heart first. Now I don't have the entry and I have to play the diamond 7 first. But at least I can win the diamond 7 and then the club 7. And we said that the club 7, it's actually a hard ring. So this might be a double ring. Not an Oktoberfest like on Tuesday. But we might figure out the mini double beer trick. Here we go. And a top score, hopefully. Yes, as expected, it is a top score. Although, well, only 88% because there were more people. But still, four clubs scoring 12 tricks actually is for more than 50%, but see 36 difference. So 3.6% um, in the final score, which is quite a lot for making the decision of going up. And I kind of understand that a lot of people here didn't went up because it's match points. But see how powerful were the aces that we could have played the finesses and even made an over trick. And well, a uh, spoiler here, Erika has beaten me uh, in today's match point tournaments. But uh, I will make a guessing game also there after board. Well, after board 5, you might try to guess how much I made.
but Erika scored almost 20, sorry, 69%, which is amazing. So don't hesitate to go. Balthazar, welcome. Uh, also, Martin is not feeling yet. I hope that Crystal is. And now is the last time where you can just get on the list. So come on. Ah, here we go. Erika is there. That's my girl. Okay, how about Crystal? How about Balthazar? Are you up for a challenge? Come on, guys. Couple of extra seconds to fill the diamond suit. And today we are playing for the Diamond 7. I think I will be switching in the suits and every stream we might try for another 7. But let's go if there is no one else. Okay, no problem Kiwi, I understand. Okay, Crystal is waiting for an important call. Well, would that be for that much? Oh, come on. Okay, so... Here we go. So we have the wall suit. Great, Gary. So let's go. Give me three numbers, guys. One up to 13. Here we go. Where we go? I have the pack here. What's the first number? Okay, number four. Okay, beer card. That's good. Uh but I understand for that you got there. But we will see. So it's four, nine, and ten. So four of diamonds is not John. Sorry. Uh, five of diamonds. Dimitest also not there. He actually challenged me uh, on the fun bridge. Uh, number six. Well, did I? Uh, Gastrot. Thank you, that's the first time uh, Gas is challenging, but it was close. You will still might have the time. And here we go, number four, King. King of Diamonds, O Partisanos. So first challenger, this is number five. Jack, number six, two, sorry, Gary, number what is it? Seven? I lost the count. Yeah, that was seven, so Chris is out. And this is eight. Ace of diamonds, toppers. And this is number nine. And number nine, almost. Queen of diamonds. Petr Karlik. Okay, great. So we have the junior challenging me here. Petr, go for it. Crossing fingers for you. And the last one is close. It's an eight of diamonds, so Kevin, Kevin there again. And the diamond seven is still there. So diamond seven was actually number 13 card here. So guys, join the app, invite me there. I will accept those challenges so you can play. And for the others, well, I don't have more than just another board. Board 4 with 18 high card points, semi balanced hand with 5 4 majors, where right hand opponent opens a strong no trump. So my options are 2 clubs on majors or double, which is punitive, and then bit 2 spades. And that option I like a little bit better. But in case, well, I have six losers. But again, if partner has just one entry and we have a fit, I want to play a game and not doubling opponents. But if they decided to go into the major, well, doubling them might be actually better. So I will double two clubs 
Artificial Jacobit transfer with diamonds. Okay, well, so that's not good. But double A is showing an extra points. So in here, I might be two spades or double. But I don't think that partner will raise if I just bid two spades. But I'm letting them play in two diamonds. They most likely make or go one down. So I just bid two spades here and get a plus score. Just in case partner raises, that would be a no-brainer to go to a game. So show me, partner. Hmm... That's a reasonably good hand, but this can be a singleton and I need to make a lot of finesses. So I'm having two club losers unless I managed to rough the down, well not very likely. And I might need to finesse all the hearts and that's not a very high chance I don't have entries to north so unless I win the king play the eight of spades that's ducked I might have a chance that actually East is having doubleton king but then a heart towards an eight will not help a heart splits 4-1 but this can be a doubleton and then it's actually good so uh, yeah if it is a doubleton then I need to play a low low heart that would be a singleton that would be a disaster so I'm actually winning with the king 7 well that's quite a high one can be from free okay four so let's hope that this was a doubleton and now it drops yep perfect so now I get an entry for the Queen of Hearts and I can actually finesse the heart and I hope that there was a third Queen yeah it was a singleton but anyway I didn't have the chance how about playing the spades because right now I'm only making the aces and 18 plus 4 6 7 is 25 so East actually has everything drop so let's and play him for an extra trick discard the diamond and East is having King Queen in clubs and I can duck one and get an extra trick yeah here we go making 11 tricks and that should be one more than everybody else in two spades but everybody who just decides to bid a game will make more. And actually it might have been better to play from north. We will see. Yeah, and I was right. Because I was the only one who declared in two spades and made 11 tricks. Otherwise, uh, people are usually making only 9. But the difference is not that high. So I checked and what I would have bid two clubs is showing both majors, partner builds two hearts and if I bid two spades, partner will jump to four spades after the three diamonds overcall from west. So that would actually be the winning action if I actually played the same way and scored 11 tricks in four spades and that would be a 93% score. So yeah, very close. But uh, still, I mean, scoring 70 in 
match points is a great score. So board number five. Board number five and 11 high card points, semi balanced hand, poker of tens. Some of them are useful, some of them not. And two, four, six, seven losers. So a minimum hand, but uh, the long suits are reasonably good. So I can be sure that I'm not losing the hearts or clubs for the length tricks, but I need to finesse the honors. So let's see. Partner is having ace, king, queen. So I have a spade loser. I have a diamond loser. I have no hard loser and I need to manage to get only one club loser. So I better win this. Draw the trumps. And Try to eliminate the suits. I will keep my entries and try to play the diamonds first. Don't think that they will get a rough. Because I need a lot of entries to north. Okay, so they gave up. They gave up. And I can just claim losing one club trick, so making 10. Yeah, and 62.83% and there were 114 players who did better. And I checked what I could have done better is actually cross to the dummy, play the jack of clubs and what actually happens okay well it will be seen still with the white spots so jack of clubs east covers with the queen and to the ace the king drops so that's the extra trick what those uh, people could have made here in uh, four hearts and get another 30 extra percent well Sometimes you just go for it and hope that opponents make the mistakes. But if you don't give them those challenges, then you don't get lucky. So you have to put opponents under pressure. Board six. Balanced hand, seven high card points, two tricks for basically any contract here. But do I bid? Do I bid a no trump? I mean, pardon is most likely having 18-19 balanced because east-west is not bidding. And I don't want to bid a no trump to play from the wrong side. So my options are, well, pass, but if partner has 18-19, I want to play a game. So I'll bid a hard. And if partner has four hearts, he will jump to three no trumps and I will pass. So that's my goal. Okay, well, that didn't work out, obviously. Finding out a splinter. Wow, so this is so bad. I mean, partner has a singleton club, which makes my king jagged clubs t terrible. Can we make a game on a 4 3 fit? Well, if I bid four diamonds, what would that be? Control. So probably I just uh, have to like sign off in four hearts and play on a four free fit. This is always what happens when you just bid something different. I might jump to five diamonds, but uh, I don't think that we can make a contract on the fifth level. So let's just bid four hearts because they cannot shorten me with clubs. And maybe if they lead the clubs, um, I might discard the spades. Ah, spay lead, terrible. Can win. Good hearts though. I have to win. I have a club loser, diamond loser. Well, spade loser. 
I don't have a quick entry to discard the spade. So I probably have to play the diamond first and establish the side suit. Nine. Okay, well this this helps a little bit, but now they play the hard back. Sorry, spade back. Hard would be nice. Yeah. Okay, I have to win. Cash one heart. Yeah. Two and a four. Both are playing a low card. Hmm. Probably have to cash the queen. Well, I might cash the king of hearts. If the doubleton queen drops, I can cross with the heart, discard the di discard the spade, and try to finesse or cash the diamonds. Or I can just exit with the spade. And they might need to lead something. So I might as well cash the Queen of Diamonds. But then I go down for sure. Oh, this might be not a good idea. Ah. Oh. Okay, five diamonds. I will lose two tricks for sure. Probably both there. The Nine of Diamonds is probably Doubleton Jack. So how about if I play the Jack of Hearts? No, I mean the Doubleton Queen is still a chance. Nope. So I have to cash the Jack. Well done. Hmm. Now if hearts split 3-3 and actually easy is having the queen, how about playing a low diamond? Because they discarded the 8. So ace, king, queen, jack, 9-8 is out. So I can just play low and they might not rough it. How about that? Would that help me at all? I'll just try that. Okay, he didn't rough with the... Maybe he might have the queen. So let's discard the spade. And now I might try to play on a 3-3. Free free. Huh. Okay, so I might play now for making by playing a heart if they split 3-3. Free free. But why wouldn't he rough the diamond if he has the honor? He might not have known that I have the seven. He might expect that partner will trump. But there was a low high and he had a doubleton spade, three hearts. Yeah, I don't know how, how are the clubs splitting. Three and a five. That would be 5 3 3 2. So if Easy is having 5 clubs, because the 9 of clubs is quite high, he might have like Queen 9 small. Because in that case, I need to play the club, rough the Queen, play the Diamond, rough. If it gets over rough, they play a spade. So that's not actually helping me there but I will go only one down not twice because if I play the heart and they split 4-2 they will win play the spade and I'm done
But how about Klaprav? And now the Ten of Diamonds. And if East doesn't rough with the Queen, he discards a club. So I can rough high and on the club and rough the spade. That was my plan. Come on. Nope. But it was close. But West had four, so I went uh, probably the right way to go only one down. Yeah. Uh, hearts were 4 2, so I went. Well, good way for one down. Hopefully, the no trumps will be bad as well. Okay, Kibi, good luck in your tournaments there in New Zealand. Well, I wish I can just play a partnership bridge again, like on the major event. Well, for that we need to wait and just play with a computer, which sometimes is so disappointing. So 6.2%, there were, well, one more player who just played in four hearts. So three players uh, who just tried to bid out of the box and we got punished. But it was so close, I mean so close to a top score because 620, that would be an amazing score. Still uh, two people uh, actually made extras and I think um, it was kind of a possible if the defense splits a, a little bit that uh, you might even make 11 tricks uh, in no trump so but for that you need a little bit a little bit of help um, from the defense but just playing free no trumps making well easy 95 okay what can we do sometimes it just screws you up sometimes you might get a top score okay board number seven Board number seven and 16 high card points balanced, so that's an easy 1 0 trump. Partner raises to three, so this will be about card play, which I like better because obviously in the bidding I might make unexpected things, which cost me a lot. So right now I have a spade loser. Hopefully only one diamond loser and the rest should be winners. Um, well, for the clubs it's not winners, so... Kind of have to play the spade. Four. Four, five, ten ace. So I can win and play the spade towards the eight back. Ugh. I don't like the middle one. Because that can be from free small or from a five card. Why would he lead from free small if he has hearts? So it's more likely that he's having five. So let's finesse the ten. Okay, he's thinking to discard. Good. Trying to finesse the diamonds. Okay, that works. I still have the clubs, so I have to play better. I will better play the eight. And the diamonds are there, so I can exit with the spade. He wins. If he plays a heart, I unblock the clubs, cash the spade, discard the club, and give them a diamond. So that would be 11 tricks and hopefully some persons back for the previous board which i think was quite unlucky okay i better catch the clubs
Guess the jack drop since he discarded its clubs twice. Yeah, the jack will drop third. Here we go. Yeah, and that extra spade trick is worth actually 29%. Uh, so in the total, 80% and the top score, because, well, those eight players who just made 12 tricks, that's where you always need a little bit of help uh, from the defense. So I'm happy with this one, and you might guess what is actually my uh, final average if you didn't look before and i'm gonna do the count actually what's what's the score right now i think it's around 60 percent but um to be honest i'm i'm not sure i would need to get that so if you want to get a tipping contest on the last three boards what actually happened there then feel free to go board number eight Okay, eight, board eight, and I have four good honors with the hard fit. But only a three card fit, so do I want to show a strong hand? The slam is possible only if partner will have a super maximum with five losers. And for that I actually need partner to show that. So I'm going to bid via two no trumps only, which shows three card fits up to 15. And if partner bids extras, then I try for a slam. If not, I just bid a game. I bid a game in hearts because spades and diamonds might be risky suits here. But four honors should cover four losers. They do, the diamond lead helps, so I lose a spade lose a diamond, I lose a club and well hopefully if the ace of clubs is on side I and they split 3-3 free, free, I might have 11 tricks if the ace of clubs is offside then that would be a pretty bad thing because I will most likely go down I wanted to play the club first because I don't have entries to north hand. Seven and a jack. So that might be seven and a six and jack ten. Jack ten doubleton. So I need to draw the trumps. Finishing in the north hand. And actually make only 10. I'm playing the hearts towards the king and heart towards the ace just in case hearts would have split 4-1 and east will drop the jack or the 10. Well, see that it's even worse. That's even worse. Yeah, well, no way, not that this is helping, but I don't have a better plan here. The better plan would be to actually uh, rough that and rough one more spade. So, do I want to play the jack? That's covered when the, with the ace. No, I want to duck that. That's my only chance that I make. Wow. So there's a little, little, little chance that now I can manage to get the spade rough and the diamond will be a winner. Close. Close enough, but I tried. Nine tricks only and they take my diamond seven. Lost a beer. Yeah, nine tricks is exactly average. 
600 players made the same and only again a couple of people did extra in the game and make and get the bonus and that was worth over 90% but again I checked and well you have to play really out of the box and get lucky that Argent just helps you and that actually is kind of the same what it happens in the real life tournament then you just play and sometimes you might even play badly but uh, you are so lucky that the opponents are giving you a top score after top score and Martin only then it is possible to score over 70 not even 77 percent so that's a little bit wild guess even with two sorry three top scores I don't think that I could have reached that much and another spoiler Chris 67 yeah well because the average board not possible to get 67 but I'm glad that there are that many guesses but uh, not every time I can score three top scores at the end guys so there should be some lower guesses as well okay board number nine Board number nine and East opens a spade. We have four triple one, eleven high card points, but we're being vulnerable. And I don't want to go third level unless partner has something. Three, six, well, seven losers. Partner might have a fit in one suit, doubleton somewhere. But if it goes one spade past two spades, then I definitely bid. But if they go voluntarily to third level, I probably don't want to bid. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, I'm on the lead and I know what to do. So there was no need to bid. Okay, four and a two. Four should be an even number of cards. So a doubleton or a four card. But actually, it should be doubleton almost for sure. But I know that Arjun just mis misplay in these hands. From four small, they very often discard the second lowest. So it should be the five, actually. Then I will know for sure. But I don't have anything better to play. Okay, they rough, the queen doesn't drop. Maybe I should have played the eight here. And they got the rest, so nothing I could do actually here. They we always get only a diamond trick and a heart trick. So another another push. So also here another 50% score, 900 players played and see that this was already the third board which was like 50 with not much what you can do. So sometimes if you get these boards you cannot score more than 70% even if you try because not every board you can get the 90%. So welcome Alice. Uh, joining us, I guess that you came a bit later, so the others were not pushing you to play a rematch challenge. And well, there were people like that, and they pushed Erika to challenge me. Um, but we have already the three challengers, and Erika is not amongst them. So, is she lucky or unlucky? Well, that's what she knows. Okay, last board, and after that, we will start playing the challenges. Balanced hand with 16 high card points, partner opens. So, most likely, we have just three no trumps or four hearts if partner has a standard hand. But if partner has a semi balanced hand with extras, we might have six clubs there, or maybe even more. So let's see. 
One spade is the worst bet here, because right now I still don't know if partner has a balanced minimum or semi-balanced extra. Um, so I bet two diamonds to find out. Partner bets two spades, which is the balanced hand and a stopper issue in diamonds. Okay, so then I just go free no trumps. Don't think that there's anything else we can do here. Partner has not a balanced hand. But well, anyway, six clubs. Why not bid three clubs, partner? Ah, six losers. So that's definitely having some extra. And the slam is based on both finesses. If I will be declaring, it's based only on one finesse. Well, let's try to win the 10. Here we go. So now I can lose the trick to West. He let a low card. So it's probably better to catch the clubs first. That's experience. Normally I'm playing my side suit first. Uh, but what do I discard? Yeah, well, I don't like that. Probably need to cash only three rounds and play the heart. Okay, one diamonds. Should have played a low club. One diamond and one heart. It was a low diamond, so they might be 4 4. What, why would he lead from King Jack? Only because it's a fourth suit. How about playing a low spade actually? Because if West wins, I still have the time to play the hearts because he cannot play he cannot play the diamonds back. That would give me a trick. And if he jumps with the king, then my spades are good. Um, unfortunately, the diamonds will not. Hmm. Tough. Tough, tough. I don't have entries. I should have played a low club, not not the seven. So now I will have another entry with south. Now I need to guess where are the honors. But uh, if the ace of hearts is with west, the king of spades is more most likely not. So I'm going to play a heart because then east. Cannot, if he wins, now I have two discards. And I can win and kind of squeeze, squeeze west. Show up squeeze. So I'm cashing two clubs. And the queen of diamonds is a threat and queen of spades is a threat. So now I discard a spade and cash my hearts. And if the finesse is off, well, it was off from the beginning. If it is on, West will show me that it's on. And he already discards the jack. So right now if I play a heart and he discards a spade, I play a spade, the king will appear. If not, then the king is with East. Because West has the King of Diamonds. Here we go. Yep. 12 tricks. And that should be a... Well, not a top score. Because uh, obviously 6 clubs make unless they lead a Diamond. After a Diamond lead, which is kind of a natural lead after this bidding. Because clubs will be played from North. So... Yeah, I think this should be a top score.
Yeah, and it is a top score, although three players managed to make six clubs, but only three, 20 of them went down. So finally, at the end, um, I managed to get a good score, but still in the total, it's, well, only 61.77%. And, well, to check, nobody was even close. Well, the closest was Gas with 62.3%, so he's just 0 0.6 close. So well done, Gas is the lucky guy tonight. So once I will be playing challenges, I need to follow his guides and his bits if I'm in troubles. And you see that in the final board, the show up squeeze can be sometimes uh, very handy, especially if you know the split, that there is one card behind only, uh, which might be uh, that Singleton Honor, but you want to be sure. And this way that you might squeeze uh, the guy on West just from the small cards, because he has to hold in this board the King of Diamonds, might just help you to make the right decision if to play from top for a drop or if to play a finesse. And sometimes if that player is really squeezed, that's why it is a show up squeeze because he just have to play in honor uh, in front of your ace queen. <laughs> okay, guys, well, we will see, we will see. I'm sure that uh, you will help me in some. Okay, so let's check uh, the final scores and well, you see that Colin actually managed to get over 80%, but he was third, so there are two more players who has beaten them. I checked both of them from Italy. And 84 and 83. Well, for that, you need to be really lucky to get the right boards and to got them right. But congrats to Colin, 81%. So he's on the top of my friends list. But there are a couple more people there at the top. And congrats, Christian. Here in the chat, you might see him as Christian van de... Voor de well, voor de I don't know how to pronounce that probably needs to have the Belgium or Dutch of R and uh, sometimes it's Bridge Club Denia so congrats then we have Erika look here so she just missed 0.05% to reach the 69% that's an amazing score and Marco here is with 66, uh, another supporter of my, uh, my channel, so thank you very much, Marco, for your support. And we might just scroll down a little bit. Here uh, we have Paul here, the Lowland boy again, I, uh, well, I forgot, Kevin with 62%. Uh, I have to check, no, we don't. We don't have the name here, but well, you know, I have there and I'm pretty sure that uh, Lowland Boy is also a supporter of uh, my channel there. So there were the scores of the Funbridge Points tournament. And if you want to join again, then they're already there. So you just go to click soon. And you might just see if uh, there is a free tournament, but already on Saturday there is a new one, but that's not mine. Although I will just play for fun. And uh, the next one is already on for Monday, December 7. So get registered if you didn't do so. But right now we are going to play the challenges. So let's check. Okay, plate, better plates, and Kevin, plates. Okay, so let's go. Well, uh, both against, uh, what is D Dimitris? These two players, Dimitris and Petter, are my nemesis here. I'm losing one, so these two 
are extremely important to win to tie. So let's go. No, Alexandros, sorry. Sorry uh, a lot. So Alexandros here is leading by one victory. And now I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tie it, hopefully. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, sorry that I don't remember I should have. So, congrats. So, Alex was the first one to beat me there. And I'm glad that I got a revenge here. So, I will put the chat here on uh, the big screen. So, I see that a little bit. Simon, welcome. You are just on time for the beginning of challenges to help me to beat uh, Alex here. And with 15 high card points, I guess, um, well, even if you don't open, this is a standard one, no Trump opening, and I'm accepting the transfer. Although sometimes I'm super accepting with the free card, then you need uh, really a source of tricks and a, a doubleton, which might be here, but then I will need uh, one more honor somewhere. Oh, Dennis, greetings to Istanbul as well. And we're playing in a game, so I guess since we're having a nice hand with five honors, I don't think that this will be kind of an issue. Yeah, if spades split 2-2, two, two, we are actually getting 11 tricks, since uh, they will most likely cash both faces. Yeah, well, that was fast. That was fast, so I guess that no swing on this board. Because actually they have Queen Jack 10. So I cannot like finesse is if if one honor drops. Okay. So only making yeah, actually, uh, Turkey, I have played in Istanbul. I have uh, very nice memories on Istanbul, although we didn't see a lot, but we played at the University of the Eastern side. So where you just cannot drink alcohol, which probably was good for our tournament, because that's uh, where we won uh, the first World Youth Congress, so teams world championship with the Japanese pair. So really good memories for Istanbul and I have played several times in Mersin and I really love that place and, and the people and their hospitality. So sending greetings to Mersin as well. And a tie in the first board. Wow, finally. We were waiting for an interesting hand for some time and with well, hopefully only four losers, four theoretical losers, if we just keep optimistic that we don't lose uh, a trick in clubs, we might go quite high. So I will bet, uh, I will bet Michaels here, which I play that major major is the other one with uh, either minor, so not concrete two suitors but what is important that usually when you are showing a 5-5 five five, you should have like six loser hands so that's a typical 5-5 five five hand if you have a 6-5 usually it's a four loser hand and then you have to make one more bid and if you just adopt this style then you will always know how to react from partner's side and see that it seems like partner might be short in hearts he just plays pass or correct so right now, if he has one ace, any ace, and a singleton hard, we might get five clubs. Anyway, I think if Pardon doesn't have points, they, they might have the game here. So I might race, but how about you? What, what will you do, guys? Do you invite now with um, some kind of the bid? In here, free spades, in my world, would be a void in spades. So, if I bet three diamonds, obviously that would be diamonds. I might redouble as well. I might bet four clubs. 
yeah, Salmon is uh, getting there. Two clubs. Yeah. Well, if... We just don't know, because if we have a misfit in hearts, and partner is just having a lot of spades, then even a pass might be good. He might have spades and diamonds. So Christian is bidding four clubs. Erika and Gas is redoubling. Kevin is saying, well, I don't want them in spades, but I cannot kind of prevent them if they will have the balls to bid higher. Um, yeah, well, what he will bid, we need to ask Alex what he will bid if we pass. Yeah, I don't want to redouble, I don't have defensive tricks, so I want to push them one level higher. Or just, I might just jump to five clubs. Because five clubs has a small chance to make, if partner has a singleton heart and ace of diamonds, Three clubs or four clubs even, he will never go five probably. But yeah, tough. Really tough. But since Gus have bid redouble and I said that I will follow his guidance, I will redouble and see if my gambling works as well. Come on, pass pass. Okay, three diamonds. So right now, I'm going to four clubs unless Gus thinks something different. Well, I would love to pass and get a double from partner if we have a misfit. But I don't have any defensive tricks and that's the problem. That's why I don't like to pass actually. But if there are scoring 110 or 130 in diamonds that might be like not that bad four clubs we might bid as for making but that might push opponents so both gary and crystal are bidding four clubs well three clubs is showing a fit yeah well it's showing a fit it's saying that he doesn't have a hard fit or even hard tolerance I think it's pass or correct. At least one card. So see that a preference for the name suit. Erika is also bidding four clubs. Yeah, so let's go. We have four clubs, but I'm I'm afraid that it will pushing push them one level higher. Okay, well I like the double, but now West will bid four spades. Look. Ah, told you, told you, ah, but what now? Should have passed and let them play in the part score. This is sometimes what happens. If you bid four minor over opponents, possible three major. Yeah. Well, right now, I guess I have to bid five clubs. Spartan di didn't double four spades. So, yeah, we're kind of sure that they are making. East would have a enormous hand for his bidding. So now we have to sacrifice, but this is where we didn't want it to be. We're almost doubled for penalty in four clubs. So let's go. Hopefully we go down only once and not twice. Yeah, well, let's try five clubs if we get doubled, actually. I'll see. Oh. <laughs> That's a dream hand. Like, partner is covering me zero losers. And he's having, um, well, two or three defensive tricks. Unbelievable. So this will be 800. 800 just like that. Well, I should have fold my guts and just pass three diamonds since I have redoubled. <laughs> I don't like my head slaps. 
That means that it's done. It's over. Well, better rough with the nine, right? Just in case. Okay, give me the queen. Ah, oh, 800, that's too much. It's not a good, st okay, at least the queen. Well, not at least the queen, because since the clubs are 2-2, two, two, we are beating four spades, so this will be a disaster. Minus 13, four spades, just let play four spades, and it's plus 300. So that's terrible. Actually, it didn't matter what I would have done if I just don't let them play four spades. So let's go one more time. And what is four clubs now? Does he bid four diamonds? Okay, he doubles and now West bids four spades. Yeah, well, yeah, wait, one more time, what will happen if I pass three diamonds? That's what I wanted to do, actually, since I have redoubled. I guess that West will correct to three spades, and that would be it. He passes three diamonds. Wow! And partner has king queen fifth, and I just cash two tricks there, and he scores probably three. So three diamonds is going down. So see that sometimes it's better to let them play. Uh, if partner would have had a little bit better hand for me, I will still go down from five clubs. And Wait, what was what was the free diamond bid on Ace Jack Doubleton? What was the bid? Unbelievable, twenty high cards, and he just bids three diamonds on a Doubleton. Ouch. Okay, well, not a good start. We have to get it back. Okay, two, three, four, five losers. So it's a maximum hand, although my losers are all on aces and kings. So it's not like that great. But uh, I'm going to bid a reverse here. I have a stopper, but if pardon doesn't help me, do we have nine tricks from top? So what's what's your bet? chat how will you help me now if I ac actually can rely on you again okay five six so two aces and the black suits would be enough partners two diamonds is ten plus with five diamonds so if partner is having like ace queen jack we might get a couple of diamond tricks and then we need one black ace so we get kevin samurak crystal everybody bidding free no i kind of get the points martin as well yeah well i know we don't have that many choices Clubs might be good enough because we might have five clubs. Rook Sandra as well, Christian as well. So let's go. Okay, so that's a club ace. But see, we have actually potentially six clubs or six diamonds if the finesse is on. We might even have four spades. So everything is better than three no trumps. I told you. I told you that three no trumps is not the only option. But again, that's that's just feeling feeling an experience. Because partner could have been anything else. 
Mm, okay, so let's win. I think if he bids three no trumps, we are already forcing to game. So why wouldn't he bid three diamonds naturally? And I know that if I have good stoppers, that I will just go for it. So let's see. Come on. I cannot lose this one. Okay, looks fine. But that means that the slam is on, so I'm not sure if I'm that happy. Okay, let's see how well do they comes. We're discarding a lot of hearts. Here comes the club, so the clubs are good. And I'm trying to dump the heart. Just in case I get lucky. Every imp counts. Yeah. <coughs> I will show you next time, guys, that sometimes it is possible. Yeah, Simon, we just got snow yesterday as well. And today we actually build with Amanda her first snowman. Okay, and that's a tie. I guess same, no, one no trump from south. Well, yeah, which is possible uh, with this 5-4, although I'm not like that happy about a small doubleton. This way we had a chance to actually find the best contract, which might be six diamonds, since West shoved the strong hand. Next time, we need it. We needed that 11. Ah. Well, White Christmas, I'm not sure, because this weekend should be in Prague plus seven. So the snow will be gone tomorrow, I guess. But hopefully after a long time, we might get white Christmas. But we will see. I didn't check the weather forecast yet. And well, it's usually the opposite. So, okay, one. I have five good honors. Pass, pass, pass. No one's having, having points. We are vulnerable. This is this is our time. I'm going to upgrade the hand. Not that it's great, but I'm going to upgrade to show 1819. Well, three spades is unfortunately not four anymore. Three diamonds is showing five, so I have to go three no trumps and hope that they misdefend. This is what I don't like uh, with Arjun, that once I bid two spades, I actually denied four spades. Okay, show me. Diamond Queen. <laughs> wow, what? Again, I tried something different and I'm being punished. Mm. Okay, so in four spades, what can happen in four spades? Well, not much. A couple of over tricks. So how can I make, like even if I get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so I might get nine tricks. How many times do I need to duck? Well, I can duck one time. We got the free, so I might need to, oh, great, so do we duck this one as well? 
I need to get to the dummy to play the spade towards the queen or how about that the spades split badly so like a singleton king offside then it might be uh, two spade losers one club loser and then you need to do something else so four spades might go down and we have two sevens here two major sevens possible so I'm going to play a bit differently here and this time I'm going to use the advantage that I'm playing second here we go king nope well he was thinking obviously he has the king six and a three okay so I'm cashing the doubleton king <laughs> yay okay well that was a trick that was a trick here we go so at the end it's not lost yet but I mean this might be worth a name not probably not more unless uh, Alex end up uh, in free no trumps as well then this might actually be 13 but I need to get two over tricks diamonds and a club discards another club discard okay so we just give them a heart Mm. No, I'm winning. I'm winning and playing the hard back. Oh. Potentially 10 tricks. Cash it. Make it easy. Okay. Okay, so 10 tricks. Well, see that Arjun as West was thinking a long time, so did the calculation. What am I doing? Why am I playing a low spade? And suddenly he thought that I'm having the diamond honors instead of the spade honors. And she realized she needs to duck. So partner will play the hard back and they score two hard tricks, two spade tricks and a diamond so it's actually like not that stupid to duck with doubleton king but it was with hesitation so is this worth an imp or it's actually even a minus imp minus two imps well done by scoring 12 tricks wow well the club finesse is on oh doubleton queen okay so that's not like that harsh but you played well to actually rough rough the diamonds club to the king diamond rough heart to the ace and diamond rough jack wow wow and now playing for a doubleton king okay playing the club and trying to cross rough okay so heart rough and now the club and that worked and now the tennis finished wow well done alex very well done minus 15 the challenge is over well done 40 40 celsius oh i mean yeah it was magical when the christmas were wide but even for us here and the Mediterranean in the middle of Europe nowadays we just have to go with just a tree without the snow 13 high card points well let's get over this with this 
This was well deserved by Alex. Okay, I'm not going any further. Nonsense 7 no trumps. Well, how about 5 hearts now? So only Amanda bid. Minus 15. No, I mean, I know when I lost. I know when I lost. I don't imagine that there is anything what, what can bring us even 12 here. Yeah, might might have bid three clubs, but see that they are breaking badly. And Kevin, you are right. Nonsense seven Otrums redoubled probably would be 15. Unfortunately, minus 15. Well, so far so good. What more do we want? Okay, we try to shorten him once. We cannot get twice. Unless Barton has the jack. Queen. Okay, so two spades going down. Unfortunately, we cannot get another trick there. Because our heart split 3-3 free, free, and the 9-8 makes the winners for cross rough. Barton should have discarded the club here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Claim zero tricks. Down one. Yeah, three clubs is a disaster. And it's a tie. So this is a clean, clean victory for Alex. Congrats. Zero fifteen. It has been a long time. Oh, wait. I just misclicked here. Uh, twice. It's been a long time since I didn't score any imps in the challenge. At least I don't remember. Probably I uh, it happened like last stream. Okay, uh, it's there. I have written it down in the Excel. So you are there and Petr is next. Petr is a 12 year old junior. Who is actually bidding like just next door and well we play just one challenge but uh, we are having the trainings together and I'm giving him big future if he keeps playing and improving like he does in the last year Yeah, well, actually, Greece, I think when we were juniors, we always had quite bad scores against the Greece team. So I might really call them Nemesis. And I have been once to Greece, but never for bridge. Okay, 15 high card points, so that's a no trump. Um, that might be it, but how about you chat? Do you bid? Do you double? At this position? Partner obviously is not strong enough to invite But opponents are vulnerable. We are not. I Have kind of a shortness, but the Queen of Spades obviously will be better in any other suit Simon doubles, of course. Martin is passing. Crystal is passing. Kevin in pairs. Daniel is passing. Hmm. Let's 
Samurai is doubling. Okay. Chris passing. Well, the two spades is spades and a minor. So it might be clubs. Gary is also passing. Well, everybody's passing, but Simra and Simon. Paul, Paul from Amsterdam is doubling. I mean, we we are not here for passing, right? So let's double. Pardon actually might have spades. Yeah. So let's see. Well, I have three tricks for sure. Hopefully four. So I need two tricks from partner. And they are vulnerable. So let's see if partner pass was a good bit or not. Well, dummy has rubbish. So that's a good start. But the queen of clubs was not a good lead. Because that's obviously the second suit of East. Six. Okay, so it's not a jack, so Pardon has still a club trick. So I can win this one. Oh, no, sorry, I wanted to say I'm going to win this one. And I need to get an idea if to play a heart or if to play a diamond. I might just exit with the spade as well. I probably need to give partner promotion. So we scored one trick so far only. Two, three. If partner has a spade, that's four. Club is a five. So I need one king from partner. And I think playing the diamond here might be a little bit better. If partner has doubleton king. If he has a doubleton queen, then obviously I shouldn't touch diamonds at all. But we have to play something eventually anyway. So I'm going to cash the ace of diamonds and play a diamond. Uh, it might be that partner might be short. So let's see who has the king. Partner has the king. Great! So that's trick number three. I might actually rough this one. I might rough this one and play a diamond. Because Spartan had already king of diamonds, queen jack and clubs, that's six. I don't think that he's having the king of hearts. And declare as west is having four clubs only. So five spades, four clubs, two diamonds, two hearts. So spade rough, sorry, diamond rough, ace of hearts. Oh, Amanda is awake. Come on, Amanda. Nazdar, perdičko. Co pak ty jsi zůru? Okay, so here we go. Say hello, say hello, she's awake. That's a microphone. Okay, so do we play a diamond or do we play a heart, Amanda? Tell me. Which one do we do? We might just cash the ace of hearts and play a diamond to be sure that this is going down. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm doing that. Hmm. No, I'm playing a diamond to give partner two roughs. Yep, that was it. And now the Trump promotion for 500. Which one is the beer cart? Here we go. Six of spades. And partner get one more. Okay, now she gets the mouse. Couple of clicking. Heh. <laughs> 
Come on. Okay, so that's it. That's it, honey. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Papa. Yeah. Papa. <coughs> Papa. No, no. <coughs> Papa. <laughs> okay. So hopefully she will sleep better tonight and partner had the 10 okay good defense nice pass partner and first 10 imps wow what a garbage and we managed to beat it unbelievable but i hit the jackpot by playing the diamonds right and then give partner two roughs plus seven two spades down two sorry better this was samra and paul and Simon winning those seven imps. Thank you guys for your help. And thank you, yeah, well, she has the tooth, toothache for already two days, so well, we didn't have much sleep in the recent days, and now she woke up. Hopefully she will fall asleep and finally We'll get a good sleep tonight. Okay, 11, because normally 7.30, she's like dead in the bed every day. That's why I start streaming 7.30. Okay, two hearts. I would love to bid some kind of club spade bid. I probably need to bid three clubs first and then bid four spades for whatever happened. Four clubs here will be showing clubs and spades, but a 5-5 five, five hand. This, sh this way I should show 6-4 minimum. Well, it's a misfit. Obviously it's a misfit because West is not bidding that. Three no trumps. Wow. Well, it might work. It might actually work. I have some kind of four losers, but what to do? Yeah, A, X in clubs, but I don't think partner has the ace of clubs. Even a singleton ace might be enough. Obviously, partner has a lot of hearts. So, let's pass. Double, okay. So, that, that made my decision easy. That made it easy. Unless it's a punter double. That they are pushing us to four clubs where three no trumps is making. Okay, another double? I will redouble probably. Okay, so let's see if it was a punter double. Ace of diamonds. Partner has the jack and a 5-5 five, five and Wow. Okay. Obviously, we are losing a club, diamonds, and probably two spades. Yeah, well, I have to win this one, obviously. That was a singleton. So, East has king, queen, jack, and hearts. Nothing in clubs, nothing in diamonds. Like low spades towards the queen for singleton there. Singleton honor, doubleton jack. Nothing like that is helping me actually. That's... Should have played the 10. It would have to be covered. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything. I think the queen wins. I just needed needed a quick trick so they don't promote their trumps. Now 
9 yeah 9 probably could have been good if Ease is having actually king jack small so you're right so the 9 was technically better Let's see if I play a low spade. If West jumps with the jack. Come on. Give me the jack. Give me the... No. I tried. Down one. Well done. Down one. Yeah, well, ten of spades. I should have played the ten of spades. Uh, no, well, still I don't have the second entry because uh, the king of spades was third. So, and he could have covered. Three diamonds passing. So the seven imps back. See, just pass. Let them play. Score those nice three diamond tricks and an ace. And two spade tricks. And a club trick. Wow. Just wow. Okay, so it's a misfit. Misfit evening. That's two, two meanings. Misfit. Well, uh, we have a double seven potential here on this board. I see the double seven potential and two five six losers so what's what is your opening we actually discussed uh, these kind of hands yesterday uh, on the junior training although we were focusing on the semi balanced hand this one is unbalanced and six loser so for a lot of people this is one hard opening and I agree, two hearts should be, and this is what we discussed, Semra, two hearts as preempt, as weak two, should be seven or eight losers, like no other hand. If it is nine losers, it's too weak to open. If it is six losers, it's too strong to open weak two. On the other hand, since we have a singleton spade, well, nobody's vulnerable, we might have a four heart opening. Might be aggressive, but um, yeah, you know, sometimes you just need to go with that. Three hearts is a possibility because three hearts is usually six, six to seven losers, which is actually our hand. Yeah, of course, Simon, four hearts for you. I know that you like these. Yeah, but well, we saw that two, all the boards denied were like a misfit hands. Okay, I will go, I will go with four hearts here. I mean, it's creating a pressure. Sometimes creating a pressure, uh, you should do it. That might bring a good board, because if I open a heart, it will be very difficult for me to rebid. Because then I would need to show that I have a minimum with 6. And actually I'm, I'm not sure if I have the minimum. So this way I just preempt and went for it. If I go down one for 50, see obviously opponents don't have 4 spades. And this is a singleton or a doubleton six of spades is a high one because there is a five and a two so that's four so west is having doubleton spade so we'll have one discard well i might need to discard twice actually for the clubs 
So we have overbed. Well, if we open one heart, partner will end up in four spades anyway. Most likely. So I think we didn't overbid that much. So it's how many times do we go down? And like the clubs at this point are losers. But there might be like ace king on side. And they might play the clubs for me. So I'm going to draw the trumps. Okay, well that's not a good sign, obviously. Uh, I don't want to unblock with my king. I just don't want to. Probably I should have. But I really didn't want it to. Okay, 8 discard. We cannot make the diamond 7. And now I think I'm going to end play them with the heart so they have to give me a trick okay I'm not okay one more do we get the spade 7? No, probably not Maybe the jack drops. There might be a doubleton jack or doubleton king offside, and here we go. Wait. Ah, uh, too bad. I cannot score the club seven. I just can't. This way only, but they are not winners, so they doesn't count and I didn't make the contract and this is a Trump 7, so no drinks for me tonight. And plus 3, see, 2 no Trumps was not a success. 2 hearts, you were not paying attention yesterday, 2 hearts is too weak. But West bits 2 no Trumps after 2 hearts and then it goes pass, pass, pass. I would be okay even to pass and then bid hearts in the second round because uh, the hand is really strong enough to be a little bit more like offensive, not a preemptive hand. And if anything, free hearts preempt uh, I like a little bit better. Four hearts, I agree, is just too pushy uh, and you shouldn't do it all the time, but sometimes, sometimes you should, especially if you are playing against some opponents uh, a lot then you should make them not not knowing what hands you actually have for the preempts all the time because if you keep preempting passively all the time uh, they know that you have it if you are being too aggressive you will get doubled very often but if you are you know mostly aggressive and sometimes sorry mostly like punctual so you are bidding properly the preempt and sometimes you are a little bit more aggressive then they just buy it but you cannot do it that often yeah Paul is usually uh, no usually but uh, Paul is using the lurking uh, word well obviously he loves it I love the word too I would like to lurk sometimes as well 11 uh, yeah we're vulnerable does anybody bid here yes yeah, bridge might be sometimes poker but if you are playing against random opponents then they don't know your style but very often especially in the Czech Republic I mean on the top level it's just very small amount of, of people you are playing against each other all the time so you actually know the opponents very well 
So you have to be a little bit unpredictable. Gary is passing. Yeah, I mean, uh, they are in spades and if opponents are in spades, you don't want to go third level. Well, you have to be ready to go third level and I don't want to go third level with this hand. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm passing. Okay. And a passive lead. Seems like dummy will be weak. Yeah, here we go. So uh, the only honor I could, I finished with my lead. What is this day tonight? Well, actually I had already a nice time when I was eating my lunch and getting my Pilsner. Yeah, well, I hope that Declare doesn't have a singleton. Oh, partner has a singleton king. What happens? So there are five spades, five hearts, and east hand. Club back. Thank you, partner. And I guess you should have one more trump. Well, you should have much more. So there were what? There were two two roughs so there will be one more trump so diamond back uh, could have been a low club okay low club would have made it just made so this one over trick but do we have a contract if I double I don't think so but east might have bid, so this might be actually a minus five board. It's a tie, okay. Well done, Peter. Well done. Fifteen high card points and partner open a diamond. Obviously, it will be a balanced hand since we have like ace king queen fourth. The question is. Which side should be declaring free no trumps, I guess? Well, tomorrow is Friday, so it will be way better time. Because we already reserved a restaurant. And I will not get one Pilsner, but I will get two or three. Well, probably two only during the dinner. Because we have to be fast. Um... So, do we bid three no trumps, do we bid two clubs, and see if partner has an interesting hand? If not, partner will bid two no trumps after two clubs. And then... Sorry, I'm really tired. Yeah, I think I'm just going free no trumps. I think the chance that partner is having a weak no trump is just too high. And I should be playing for my doubleton honors. Spade, singleton ace. Wow, so we have an easy slam. And free no trumps is most likely going down. Drats. Yeah, I don't think they they will make a mistake. I can catch eight tricks. Hmm. But cashing eight tricks, that's cowardish. My chance is that West might not jump with the Ace of Clubs. Because he might not underlet his King Queen. East played the Two of Spades. Well, which will be probably third honor. 
or five spades. So spades might be five five. I don't think that they can screw up. But if they are five five, it doesn't cost me anything here to play the ten. Okay. Okay. I had a chance for a diamond seven. Yeah, see one down anyway. Good lead, but both hands will have that lead. So if I would have bit two clubs, what will North bit? That's a question. So let's see. Petter, how did you do? Oh, you played the same. No, you played two clubs, three clubs by North. Well, I mean, after that, this might be a little bit better. So if I bit two clubs after three clubs, I will have, I will bid three diamonds. So that would be my bid, not three, no. Because three clubs is actually uh, the best bid for me. If partner is showing, it shouldn't be four four. The description here is four four, but then partner must have something like eighteen points. Well, or four 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 one. That's true. So the description is right, but usually it's five diamonds and four clubs. Therefore, partner has short majors as well. And after three hearts. This is actually where you might uh, where you might see that the spades are the dangerous suit, and with just having the doubles and jack, I think I will I will just keep keep bidding there. Four hearts. Yeah, well, I don't think that I will. Will I? Actually with North bidding it seems like 5431 or 4441. The bidding shows kind of the shortness in spades. So this was actually potential to bid there, but I needed three I needed three key cards and with two it will be an overbid. So I need partner to bid extra. Okay, so this way we could have reached six clubs which is way better than free no trumps by the way yeah okay thank you peter uh, it was a nice one i was a little bit lucky there in the four hearts where it scores three imps better and well i must admit that i was also lucky in the board number one as, as well because beating two spades and that partner passed, yeah, I think I was the lucky one in this challenge. And we have Kevin as, as the last one. Okay, I'm writing down the score. And here we go. So let's beat Kevin. Okay, so you are suddenly discussing what's, what restaurants are open where, and I understand that's, that's uh, a better topic, especially in these days than bridge. So Romanian restaurants are closed. One club pass, one diamond, 18. So normally this is a no trump. But, um, well, I have to bid. Oh, Kevin won't, won the Pete's Holland's tournament this week. And Alex came second, wow. 
Congrats, guys! I'm playing Pete's tournaments sometimes. Often uh, during the weekend, I just want to relax and don't play bridge. Very often, I have to play the teams and the Czech Federation tournaments. Recently, I managed to play it usually on Friday already. And yes, remember the likes 21 likes we have so far. And what is your bids? Double. Samurai is doubling. We have two, three, four, five losers. And well, only one on the queen, three aces and a king. Yeah, well, we might not give up on the game, but we would need we would need one ace and short hearts or queen of hearts. <laughs> We will see, Kevin, if you get a fun club after this match. Okay, I'm doubling. One spade. Oh, how high do we go? King of diamonds and the queen of hearts might be enough. So how about three spades here? Two spades, I think that's that's too weak. Or we might just go two clubs and then three spades. Two clubs, is that forcing? Yeah, 18 to 25. Okay, so let's go two clubs and then show a spade fit. Two spades. Well, can be five cards. Let's go three spades. Yeah, it should have been one. <laughs> I thought, but it should have been one. But I tried. You cannot say that I didn't try. And those two jacks is golden. I will have time, uh, hopefully, to dump my heart. So one, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, that's a strange play. Let's play a low one. Yeah. I thought so. They are going to rough me the club. It's not fair. It's not fair. I want to make free spades, please. Okay. I'm making... Three sevens, but well, not that many chances. So let's uh, get the queen and duck the first, dump the first seven. Yeah, and just claim. I'm too tired to try tonight. Sorry, David. Okay, a push. One spade. I bet two level higher. At least a little bit I should get extra by being brave. And now we have a master hand. Monster, not a master, but a monster hand. Four losers, kind of. Pardon is a past hand. So what's your plan, guys? What is your plan? Oh wait, so I just lost the chat here on the tablet, so actually there is a lot of chat there. So double, and then, f oh that was in three spades, okay. Yeah, well, six hearts is really hard to imagine. So Gary is bidding four hearts, Elena is doubling and then bidding hearts. Christian is passing and bidding four hearts. So he wants to get doubled in four hearts. But the 
issue with this hand is that they might have four spades making and we need to decide if to bid on or not. Brandusa Popa. Welcome on the chat. Four hearts. I believe if I'm not mistaken, that's your first chat there. So I'm I'm following your suggestion and see if I should follow you next time as well. Okay, so they didn't do bid for spades, so it's a good start. Partner has the spades and partner has the diamonds, so we have a slam. Wow. This is really wow. And we have four sevens, guys. Can this be an Oktoberfest? Unfortunately, I have to dump those sevens. Three in one hand. It's not good. Well, with such a terrible dummy, I don't think that we had a chance to actually uh, reach the slam. But we will play four sevens at the end. Unfortunately, I will score only two of them. Wait, how to do it? On the diamond seven, I have to dump the club seven, cash the ace. Hmm. Which beer? I want. I want a nice beer, not a light one, not non-alcoholic. So I'll go for for the standard Pilsner here, for the Diamond 7, I guess. Club, they are discarding the clubs like hell. Yeah. Okay, well this is this is bad looking. This is bad looking. So I go for a non alcoholic. But this looks way better. That we are left with three sevens. And we can see which one we dump. Wow, the spade seems that it might actually win a trick at some point. Well, I should have dumped the club, but okay. I'm going to lose that one as the last trick and a tie. So, how about Kevin decide to bid four hearts as well? Okay. Well, I could have tempoed on the spade. I, I just could have dumped the club, club seven. So, um, making the diamond seven was like not that tough. I wanted to show the three sevens in my hand that we had the option 12 high card points, 3 aces it might be a good hand, might be a bad hand as well but 3 aces is never bad it's 3 tricks but it's, I'm not saying that uh, they might produce more 
Okay, so I'll let them let them play. So far, by the way, I didn't check if you if you made a diamond seven at the end. Tell me, I should check if Kevin did it on this board because I promised extra ten diamonds for the double for the diamond seven at the end. Double one heart, two diamonds, two no trumps. Wow. The yeah, partner will have like five spades and nothing. What's going on? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm leading the spade. I don't know why. I kind of have a feeling. Okay, well, we've got the trick. And now if partner has what? Um, heart 10. Or heart jack. Or heart queen. Is that enough? Most likely not. Come on. Give me 10. Queen! Wow, that's not enough actually. For that, I'm defending three no trumps. Yeah, I'm really tired. Should have returned the spade and probably could have beaten it. If partner has king jack, well, he discarded the queen there to unblock so most likely partner doesn't have the jack okay I climb two tricks contract making so you didn't make okay um, I think we had the tempo we just had to uh, lose we just had to lose the club seven just lose one trick yeah zero Lose one trick and then cash all the trumps. And then win the diamond seven at the end. Okay, this is no bit for me. Yeah, still no bid. And let's see the dummy. Seems seems a tie as well. Four, so that should be four actually. So I might cash three tricks here and play what? Which suit partner might have? Uh, hearts they cash anyway. So spades will be played as well. Four eight. Yeah, I mean it probably doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, well if I play a club, they might make four club tricks. If he has ace king queen small. So actually the club is the most stupid thing might work as well so let's see okay so it's not a spade it's not a heart so partner will have king of clubs most likely Maybe both king queen, both king queen. Okay, down one, but I guess that this is uh, another push because this is kind of a standard board. Declare couldn't do anything with this hand, with a mirror, and we might get a zero zero tie. No, that usually doesn't happen, right? Oh, another garbage hand. 
Oh, non-vulnerable. I uh, don't have much. Uh, do we bid? Is any anybody making a bid on this one? Hmm. Yeah, Alex, do you think one Ultram is not that bad? Well, I might have some tricks, but I'm wondering how high. Elena is not bidding. Samurai is bidding a no Trump. Yeah, I mean, with my style of uh, bidding two clubs with weaker hands, I mean, something like 18, 19 plus with uh, six hearts or semi balance hand with five hearts, we might just overbid. If I bid a no Trump. Yeah, well, you are right that one neutral no might be kind of preemptive. Not just because they might uh, have three no trumps. I'm kind of not afraid that they have three no trumps, but they might have a spade contract there. And if I pass, West might bid the spades. And he's a passed hand. But as well, you know, West is a passed hand, East passed. So. This might be actually a big misfit here, because East might have the hearts behind. Paul is passing, Christian is passing. I'm not fear of feeling very well bidding. Um, I think Barton has five hearts and four spades. I'm passing him. One no. One no is ninety. It's not a hun well, one only is 100 for us or 90 there. How about double them right now? Because that would be 200 instead of 90. Exactly four points. Wow. What a precise bid. Pass one hard and then double shows four points. And it's forcing pass bid. What an explanation. What an explanation. Chris bits two hearts now. Yeah, well, most likely I double here. I double. Come on. Let's make it fun. Two clubs. There we go. Two clubs doubled. Who would have thought so? So let's see. Now I produce three tricks actually. After I see the dummy, I produce. Well, possibly still three tricks. And partner have ace, king, jack, and hearts. Dummy is terrible. So this is a victory challenge. What do you play? Two, seven. Wow, so far so good. Seven, that might be a middle one. So do I play the spade through or the diamond back? Play the spades through. Kevin already knows. King. Wow. 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 So we get two more trumps, or not? Is it going to finesse the eight? 
Oh, he is. And Gardner had a singleton. So one more trump. So that's only 20. Sorry, 200. But that's actually it. That's the necessary one. Eight. So I should have played the diamond before. Most likely. That's it, down one only. Yeah, if I would have played the diamond before, I will beat it twice. I would have beaten twice. But this is the free imps. This is the free imps! By passing and not bidding a no trump. So finally. Yeah, see? No Trump and North bid his free card. So as expected, partner really had five hearts and four spades. And if I would have defended right, we score two diamond tricks, a spade, two hearts, well, and one or two club tricks. So that's it. That's it, guys, for tonight. So two victories and what actually happens here uh, is... That this is free zero. So we've got it here that Alex is getting 30 diamonds. Better because he scored Ims is getting 20. And for Kevin, it's actually 10. So thank you guys uh, for being here. For on enjoy your weekend if you are playing bridge and if you are playing live bridge then uh, I'm sure that you will enjoy I'm wishing you good luck and finally some fit hands because tonight it was uh, really a lot about misfits and staying low and we will see each other on Tuesday evening on the live stream on the fun bridge YouTube channel and uh, of course join Join us in playing the Czech Federation tournament, which you find under Player Tournament Federations Czech Republic Master Point. It's only 20 diamonds and 16 boards with imp scoring. And this is the tournament, maybe the only one, where everybody plays the same boards. Uh, of course, if you are playing the exclusive tournaments, that's where it is all the same boards. But these are the real competitive tournaments under the Federation ones. So, looking forward to see you there and hope that we break the record, which actually was 36 players uh, last week. And see that, well, I struggled to get in the top three at... Uh, in the middle of the year, I was actually winning all the tournaments and suddenly now I struggle to get to top three. So hopefully I get a good sleep tonight and get there for a medal. Good night, guys.